Hey guys, welcome to Food Talk TV. My name is Kaz. I'm cooking with Kaz on my channel. And I'm in here for Taylor tonight. She normally comes in on Thursday nights, but Taylor is on vacation. So you got me. So let me see if I can get in here on my phone so I can read your comments. You guys, welcome in, tap the screen, show some love, hype it up. What do we got here? Let's make sure that I'm in on the right account. And I am. Mr. Crown Royal, how are you? How's it going? Hey, Jesse. I can't oh. hear you. Just turn just a little bit, okay? What's that? I said I can't hear you, so I'm going to turn you up just a little bit. Oh, okay. So how's your day going, Jesse? Pretty good. Yeah? Yeah. Why don't you introduce yourself to everybody? I'm sorry? Why don't you introduce yourself to everybody? So um, my name is Jesse, uh, a.k.a. Mr. Crown Royal. Uh, it's my TikTok account on on here on TikTok. I uh, I do I do a lot of grilling and uh, smoking. I do a lot of meats, and uh, sometimes I, I cook in the kitchen with yeah, my wife's you help. Uh, soup yesterday or day before yesterday, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I did some uh, soup of Toscana. And uh, just. Like two hours earlier, I saw uh, one of our uh, other Food Talk TV uh, cooks doing the same thing. So I guess that's popular right now. Yeah, so I did it uh, maybe what two months ago, but it was it wasn't live. It was just a uh, a video that I posted up. Yeah. And then uh, and then I started searching it. I'm like, wow, everyone's doing it. Right. Yeah. It's, it must be trending right now. I, yeah, I think it is. I've never heard of it before. Yeah, it's uh, it's uh, the version that I did is the one from uh, Olive Garden. Yeah, that's what I was told. Uh, when it, I think I said it on, I said it on a live that I'd never heard of it before, and somebody uh, says, "You've never been to Olive Garden?" Uh, <laughs> and I'm like, well, I guess maybe I haven't. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, who was it? Maybe, oh, it was uh, Taylor, and I think uh, Taylor Taylor Rose, a mustard queen. She used to work at Olive Garden, or she worked at a Darton restaurant anyway. Oh wow, I worked at uh, at the Olive Garden. Oh, so you worked in Olive Garden? Yeah, yeah. Well, my um, that's where I met my wife. She worked there, and uh, I started working there. I worked as a server. My wife was the bartender. That's funny because I think that. Um, Taylor was a bartender. Are you married to Taylor? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> so she was a bartender at the Olive Garden? Yeah, I think so. Oh, wow. Yeah. On her show, she frequently makes cocktails and uh, gives tips on how to how to work the shaker and all that stuff. Got you. Yeah. And that's actually, actually her day job now is, at, is a um, bartender, but not at the Olive Garden. Oh, okay. You guys, if you're just scrolling through, please give Food Talk TV a follow. We have a live goal as well. So if you could help us out with that, we appreciate it. What I'm making right now is uh, butternut squash soup. And I'm handling the, uh, the butternut, butternut squash. I've cut off the bottom, cut off the top, makes it easier to handle. And I'm just using a peeler. Get 
it down to the flesh. So there's some comments on here. Let me put some, I put my shape, my glasses on to read them. Gluten free mama. What's he making? He said, she said. Okay. What's on our website? Okay. Uh, on the website was, what was on the website? I read it. It was sweet onion skillet bread. Yeah, I'll be making that as well. Okay. And this is on the website too. Both of the recipes that I'm making tonight are already up. We try to get them up with whenever the guy who's responsible for the website can actually get his stuff together. Okay. That's me, by the way. So, <laughs> so you do all the jobs? All the jobs. All the My jobs. favorite set, Connie. Oh, do you make this, Connie? <laughs> Christy so, said, hey, guys. Hey, what's up, Christy? This is a very simple version. And uh, you guys, don't be afraid to get into the comments. Make comments. Ask questions. Voice says hello. Hello, voice. Voice or voiceless? Uh, voiceless. Voiceless guy. He is one of our food talk or FTTV creators. Okay. What's going on there? It's good to have you in, Luke. That's going to be uh, delicious, I bet. It's from Sweet Pea. <laughs> well, like I said, this is going to be a very simple version because, uh, you know, we only have an hour to make two recipes, so. Yeah. On Sunday night, our lives go a lot longer. And we make a lot more stuff on Sunday nights. But... During the week, we try to stick as close as we can to an hour. Uh, uh, on this show in particular with Taylor, uh, we had to extend hers on the uh, on the website. We had to extend her time to an hour and a half because she couldn't figure out how to do anything in under an hour and a half. But in fairness, Taylor does some really exten extensive stuff, okay? So, <laughs> all right. Go ahead. I'm going to uh, bring you guys just a little bit closer on this, okay? So this is a butternut squash? Yes. I've never uh, had either one of the, the recipes you're making today. Okay, good. So this is good. All right, so all I did to start this was I... Topped it, bottomed it to make it more stable. I use a uh, potato peeler, vegetable peeler, to get, it's a very, very thin skin off. <clears throat> this is where all the seeds are. This is gonna be solid, so. Voiceless, thank you for the gifts. We appreciate that. Oh, thank you guys for the gifts, appreciate it. Uh, Sweet Pea said maybe you can do something with the peel. You know what? There, I, there's a guy who used to, he's just famous here on TikTok when I first started. And he showed you how to use everything. Everything. Um, and I got a book. I got one of his books. I didn't buy it myself, but uh, one of the Food Talk TV people bought it for me. And that guy, nothing goes to waste. Nothing. Everything is 100% used. That's cool. I, I throw a bunch of stuff away. I shouldn't, though. <laughs> so I know that uh, if I say, oh, there's nothing to, uh, to do with the pill, there will be at least three people in the comments telling me exactly what to do with the pills. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of experts on here. Yes, there are. And uh, our the Food Talk TV audience very smart yeah 
Uh, me, Sweet Pea, said that yummy, we love butter squash, butternut squash soup. So, in order to make this in less than an hour, I'm going to uh, uh, throw this into the microwave and let it soften up. Then he said, Hi, Cass. Gluten free said microwave question mark. That's right. Now she would probably do a air fryer. Yeah. Gluten free mommy Ann uses the heck out of her mic out of her air fryer on on her channel. Oh, uh, my wife uses the air fryer. She's using it right now. Yeah. Now I have a, not. I have an air fryer, but it looks more like a. Um, uh, it looks, looks more like a uh, toaster oven. So it's hard for me to remember, yeah, that's an air fryer over there, so I hardly ever used it. Yeah. Gloom Free says you're using it right now, too. Okay. So it's mostly. Now we're going to get to the meat of the matter here. Let's go ahead and get some of this stuff off of here. You put it in the microwave to cook it or to soften it up? To soften it up. Okay. Yeah. Now we're going to do this on uh, on the stovetop. But if we wait, if we try to soften it up on the um, uh, on the skillet, it would take like twenty minutes. And I ain't got time for all that. <laughs> all right. Now, there's one person that I, I've seen on TikTok. What they do is they just go right around here and they scoop it all out. Um, uh -huh. I don't do that. The seeds have got to come out, though, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's pumpkin seeds, or they look like pumpkin seeds. Sweet Pea said, uh, I think you need a sharper knife. Uh, it's a sharp knife. Trust me, this is an excellent, excellent knife. This is a, a German Wusthof. Very good knife. These are just very, very tough. Gloom Free said she said Red Robin. Softening it, yeah. I'm sorry. Robin said, Robin said that the seeds are good eating. Yes, they are. You know, um, uh, pumpkin seeds, uh, sunflower seeds, all that. People love that. I've never been a fan, ever. <laughs> My wife does the pumpkin seeds when she carves it for Halloween. Yeah. She'll take the seeds and uh, I think she bakes them, toasts them. She toasts them and the, they love them, her and the kids. Yeah, never been a fan. Uh, when I was in, I guess, 6th, uh, 7th six, six, grade is when uh, everybody was eating uh, sunflower seeds at school. And I'm like, uh, there's, there's shells or seeds. I don't get it. <laughs> no. So all I'm doing is scraping. Uh, along the inside. The seeds are attached by little bitty fibers. I'm not worried about the fibers because in the very end of this, we're, I'm going to be using an immersion blender and this is all, all going to be cream anyway. Okay. So, All right, let's get the rest of this chopped up here.
Uh, Kit Kat said, I've never had butternut squash. Uh, what else goes in the soup? Can you make it in a slow cooker? Yes, you, you definitely could. You definitely could make soup in a, uh, any kind of soup in a slow cooker. Um, I'm making it fast tonight. But yeah, uh, you can make it in a slow, slow cooker. Uh, the, uh, this is going to be a simple soup. It's going to have some garlic, some onions, uh, uh, some herbs, some ginger. Just a very simple soup. Vegetable broth, too, it says on here? Vegetable broth, too. Yes. And you guys, uh, he knows that because he's looking on the website. Why don't you tell him where the website is? So the website, guys, if you want to know the actual um, recipes for both items that he's making today, it's on foodtalktv.com. All the recipes that um, all the creators cook on live are up there. It also uh, tells you who all the creators are and uh, when they're coming on. That's right. Our schedule is there. Everything is on the front page. You can get to everything from the front page. Yes. Yeah, and that's where I'm looking at the recipe, at the ingredients too. <laughs> also. Uh, well, there is one thing that you can't get to from the front page. Uh, that's the FTTV. Why don't you tell them about FTTV? So, everyone, FTTV is um, an agency of a bunch of creators. They have, I mean, they have plenty of creators on there, from uh, gamers to cooks to uh, comedians, DJs. It's for everyone. Uh, FTTV doesn't discriminate on what your talent is. Um, so if you're interested, just uh, hit us up. Um, what else? Uh, we have 450, or I'm sorry, we have uh, 500 creators now. And it's part of the agency. They're for people who go live. If you go live and you want to build your audience, uh, you want to make money? We can tell you how to do that. Gloom uh, Free Mom is also saying we have singers. Uh, we do. We host battles. Uh, we give stream keys. Okay. This one. Butternut squash is going to be enough to last me a few days. That was about a three pounder. So what I'm going to do while I start to work on other things is I'm going to um, put a little saran wrap on that and throw it in the microwave for, for about eight minutes. Robin, um, the website is uh, foodtalktv.com. We go Robin's live every asking day. What was the website? Yeah, we go live every day. We've gone live every day for almost three years now. Oh, maybe two years now. We haven't missed haven't missed a day at all. Also, guys, if you go up to, to the website, go ahead and follow all our social media. We're on everything, right? We uh, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. Obviously, we're on TikTok now. Um, do we have a Twitter? And, uh, this live will be posted on Facebook tomorrow and on YouTube tomorrow, in case you missed any of it. So all the lives that happen here on Food Talk TV are posted on uh, on YouTube. Everyone, unless uh, for some reason uh, uh, TikTok won't let us download it, but almost everyone is there. Okay, so while that's going on, we're going to prepare our skillet for our skillet, skillet bread, sweet onion skillet bread. Uh, 
Most sweet onions that people know of are Vidalia's, but I'm using Noonday. Noonday is also a, uh, a sweet onion grown primarily in uh, Nevada and Washington, Washington, I think. And the reason, reason why I'm using sweet onions for these recipes is because I like sweet onions. So you can use whatever you, whatever onions you like. I think that on the um, uh, soup recipe on the website, uh, I think I've written yellow onions, but I just like sweet onions for everything. On the uh, on the website, it says uh, one large sweet onion, it does say thinly that. sliced. All right. I did not betray myself. Huh. We have uh, 1.5K likes. If everyone can tap that screen, help us get some more people in here. Also, if you're not following Food Talk TV, guys, just go ahead and hit that follow button. We appreciate it. Okay, Robin said she loves uh, sweet onions as well. Before I put this in here, uh, I did put some bacon grease down. Uh, you know, on on television, you're always supposed to say olive oil, but uh -huh. yeah. I got bacon grease. I'm in Texas. I'm sorry. <laughs> bacon <laughs> makes everything better. Yeah. You know what? When I uh, I went to Walmart when I first got on TikTok to buy something, mm -hmm. uh, I saw that they sell something called bacon up and I was looking at it and I'm like it's bacon grease why are why are people selling bacon grease doesn't everybody have bacon grease it was just a mystery to me I'm like bacon grease you really you really have to buy bacon grease <laughs> but, but I guess um, not everybody has bacon grease I didn't know that yeah We're gonna let when you said when you said bacon, Robin said finally. I mean, when you said no olive oil, she said finally no olive oil. <laughs> I know, <laughs> but you're supposed to say and now olive oil. And you're supposed to say uh, two tablespoons of olive oil, and when it, when it's clearly a quarter cup that they're pouring in the pan, clearly, <laughs> clearly. Okay, so I've got this set there. I'm gonna let it rest. I need to actually uh, get started on the topping for this. Topping for this is garlic and onions uh, and butter, and that's it. Mm -hmm. so, uh, then it's going to go into a 425 degree uh, oven. So let's go over here. This is two onions, okay, uh, completely cut up. I'm gonna use half of them for the soup and I'm gonna use the other half for uh, the skillet bread. So, Blue Free said she doesn't have any uh, grease. No, well, maybe she doesn't make, uh, uh, she doesn't make bacon. Well, I think she has, uh, she said uh, avocado oil and walnut oil. Oh, oh, the healthy stuff, okay, I get it. <laughs> yeah. I get it. And then Robin said lard. Ooh. Lard? You know, there's a, a lot of Hispanic dishes that use lard in their uh, recipes. Well, uh, refried beans has lard in it. Yeah. Um, Rose, uh, the recipe, uh, what, what's on the menu? It's a uh, sweet onion skillet bread. And uh, butternut squash soup. Yes. Is that a pizza crust? Yes, that's a pizza crust. That he's using to make the uh, sweet onion skillet bread. Okay, so uh, for television purposes, this is uh, two tablespoons of uh, extra virgin olive oil. <laughs> Uh, 
It is absolutely not a quarter cup of uh, butter. Absolutely not. So I'm scrolling to, uh, scrolling down to some of these messages because there was uh, quite a bit of them. I saw that too. Uh, my same thoughts. Is chicken and noodles easy to make? Yes. Yes. It's broth, noodles, few vegetables, and uh, some chicken. Nice. Then Robin said, I don't like olive oil. Though I know it's healthy. Gluten free, uh, what is he making? Do we hear what he's making, guys? We're, he's uh, making the uh, sweet onion skillet bread and the uh, butternut squash uh, soup. Okay, so I'm taking half of this. I'm actually prepping the way. Uh, I can't stop it, okay? People on TikTok cook a different way, but I'm prepping the way that I prep uh, in a professional kitchen because that's what I've done uh, most of my life. I'm using the onions for two separate things. Uh, so I'm prepping all the onions at the same time. And then I, uh, I've i got them divided up. Uh, if you, in a professional kitchen, if you decide to do everything separately, uh, you probably won't be working in a professional kitchen for too long. So Kimberly said that uh, she made green chili chick, uh, green chili cheese enchiladas with pinto beans. Ooh, nice! That sounds good. Nice. Robin says she loves butter. Canned. Uh, I can't. I can't do chicken uh, noodle soup for the winter. Wait, wait! Somebody can't do it. No canned. Like in a can. Oh, can, can, can. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm not going to put down the can stuff. I just don't do it, but I'm not going to put it down. You know, not everybody, sometimes people watch cooking shows because they like to watch people cook. It's not because they're going to go cook. <laughs> yeah. Well, I read it wrong, but it says she canned, like she already did it for the winter. Oh, she canned it. Like she made yeah. it? She yeah, made yeah. It. Okay. Well, so, uh, go ahead. I will be uh, back on those people then. So she said uh, she can smell the onions cooking. I, I can literally smell them because I was just doing that last night. Okay. With the so soup of Toscana. I believe this calls for three cloves of garlic. I've got garlic paste. Um, the reason why I'm not using uh, actual garlic is because this is going to be, uh, well, first of all, this is more convenient for me. And second of all, um, it's all going to be parade anyway. Now all I have to do is be able to open it up. What about that? <laughs> <laughs> Can you give me a hand over here, Jess? Yeah, I'm holding it for you. <laughs> uh, some people pop it from the bottom. Pop it from the bottom. What are you talking? About? Pop it from the bottom. Yeah, they pop it. it apparently, it pops the seal or something. Like just pop, like with your palm, just hit it from the bottom. Oh, okay. Let's do that. Yeah, like that. And apparently, it makes some kind of noise to where it tells you that it released it. Nope, no. not you know what? This has been open before. Look at it. Oh, yeah. That was, that was the last time of me doing this, this, this. Oh, okay. <laughs> this particular top is just a jerk. Gloom free say you're pulling an Andrea. I know, right? I've done this. <laughs> We've all done this on food talk TV. Yeah. Also, uh, I missed it. Kimberly said, "Can you freeze chicken and uh, chicken and rice?" Yes, easily. Freezes really well. 
You want to check on the onions? They look a little. They look a little white. Well, it looks a little brownish at the corner. Oh. So I want to make sure they're not burning. So I oh, wonder, I um, wonder what it says in the recipe that they should be. Oh, I'll, I'll bet you said it says they should be golden. <laughs> Stop. Okay. I'm going to take these out, put them in a bowl, and then we're going to uh, go ahead and – actually, I'm not going to put them in a bowl. I'm going to put them on the pizza. Robin said that her mom made her uh, learn how to cook when she was a little girl. Yeah. She had to cook to eat. Mm -hmm. She said her mom is a World War II survivor. Wow. Wow. That's uh, the greatest generation. Before the boomers. Yeah. And I'm also going to go ahead and hook up just a little bit of the gar this garlic paste in here. Just for a few seconds. So for you guys that just joined, uh, he's making a uh, sweet onion skillet bread. He's also doing a butternut squash soup. Let me get another spoon here. Jesse, can you tell them about Food Talk TV, who we are, what we do? Yes, so guys, uh, Food Talk TV, it's a food channel that has, uh, do, oh, how many creators is there? We have uh, nine creators, I think. Nine. Okay, so we have nine creators um, that have different style of cooking, guys. Um they go on live on this channel on food talk tv um we have a, a website that's uh, foodtalktv.com if you guys go on there it tells you what time every creator goes on it also gives you the recipes that they're going to be doing for that day um they have a calendar a schedule of where uh what what time and date all the creators will uh be live so if you don't already follow Food Talk TV, go ahead and hit a follow. Um, you'll get notified every time someone's gonna go live or someone every time someone is live. Um, you can also follow all the social medias that we have. Um, okay, so this is gonna go into a 400 and, or 425 degree oven and it'll come out in about 20 minutes. Trying to go back on some of these comments. Okay. All right. Let's get the get the rest of these onions going, and now we're going for it with the soup. Hey babes, uh, thank you for the gift. Appreciate it. Who was that? Uh, babe said hi, and she uh, also gave you a gift. Okay. Sent a gift. Thank you so much. We really appreciate the gifts, guys. Really, really, really appreciate the gifts. It helps us do do this every single day for you guys. Yes. Okay, to the onions, I'm going to add two tablespoons of olive oil. 
just enough, just enough to cut, cover the bottom. We are not going to brown the onions on this one. We are softening them though. And if you are, if you're only just scrolling through, please give Food Talk TV a follow. Once you do that, hit the notification bell. You'll know when we go live. We go live every single day. If you don't like what, what you see today, just keep watching. We have so many different cooks with so many different styles. You're bound to find somebody that you love. Yes. Yeah, Andrew was saying that we have uh, sweet people from the UK, people from Sweden. We have creators that do um, keto, gluten-free, barbecue. It's all different styles of cooking. That's right. So I'm just doing these onions until they soften a little bit. Then I'm going to go ahead and add in uh, the other things that we need. Some ginger, some rosemary. Got rosemary. This is dried nose rosemary. If you can get fresh, uh, fresh is, uh, is really good. There's nothing wrong with dry herbs. Uh, they just need to be treated a little bit differently. If you're using uh, uh, rosemary in chicken or stuffing, uh, something dry, uh, then you're gonna you should actually toast them up a little bit. This is going into a soup, so they don't they're not gonna really require the uh, being toasted. Ground garlic and ground ginger is gonna be stronger than uh, uh, than the fresh stuff, so you will wind up using less. And like this is garlic paste. Garlic paste is always going to be much, much stronger than fresh garlic. All right. Hi, good morning from Malaysia. Malaysia. Well, thank you for coming in. Okay, so let's come on over here just a little bit. Actually, need to um, chop up a little sage for this. And uh, Linda says she's never heard of garlic paste. Yes, it's a thing. There's so many things to say about sage. Uh, one of one thing though that always comes up, and I don't know. Do you know this, uh, Jesse? What are the two flavors that define breakfast sausage? I don't, but I would think pork. <laughs> pork and um, what's that? Um, what's that seasoning? Oh God. Is it sage? I don't think it is, but you're, since you're talking about sage. Well, that was a good clue, yeah. Um, sage and maple. Those are the two two things that you'll find in uh, as flavors for breakfast sausage in America. Oh, I did not know that. And when people taste breakfast sausage, if it mm -hmm. doesn't have one of those flavors in it, they don't identify it in their head as breakfast sausage. Really? Yep. They will, of course, you can identify something as sausage, but not in America. You don't identify uh, sausage as breakfast sausage unless it has that. Uh, uh, Italian sausage. 
fennel. Fennel is that ingredient. Mm. Okay, so let's go back to the prep here. Now, I just threw that sage in there, and that's the sage and the onion. That's exactly what it smells like. Is breakfast sausage at this point. No me for you says hello. Hi, Sarah. Thank you for coming in. We missed you guys at cooking club last night. All right, let's get some ginger in here. About a teaspoon of ginger. About half a tablespoon, which is a lot of rosemary. And I'm going to go ahead and pause this for a second. Go ahead and get uh, the butternut squash, which has been getting tender inside the um, microwave. Slash oven, right? <laughs> Slash oven. <laughs> so uh, Robin was saying that the sage, where did it go? I lost it. Even the sage incense, incense uh, that the Indians have smells so good. Yes. And uh, know me for you, so she missed you too. Okay, this butternut squash. Let's hope that it's uh, that it got tender. Uh, what is he cooking? He's cooking a uh, butternut squash soup. It's hot. It looks <laughs> hot. That steam, too. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That steam is coming <laughs> up at, at me. All right. And it is tender. And how long did we put it in the uh, microwave slush oven? I actually did put it in uh, Put it in for eight minutes, and then I put it in for another two minutes after that. Okay, so a total of ten minutes? Yes. Now, the recipe for people who don't want to do this uh, says to put it in here and stir it around until it gets uh, uh, tender, and then you put the um, uh, broth on it, and the broth will make it um, like mashed potato quality. Mm -hmm. But again, I don't have that kind of time. so. Yeah. So Linda was asking, if you want to add fresh garlic, how much? Three cloves. Three cloves of garlic, Linda. And by the way, it's on the website. Yes, it is. If you guys want to know uh, exactly all the uh, measurements of what goes in on what's, what he's cooking on the uh, sweet onion skillet bread or the butternut squash soup, go to foodtalktv.com, um, and it's on there. Uh, you can also see the schedule of every time he's going to be on cooking and what he's going to be cooking and also all the other creators. And by the um, way, yes. I will be cooking again on Sunday. And what are we cooking on Sunday? I have no clue. <laughs> I have no clue. Uh, but I'm told that I'm required to wear a mask or a costume. Ah, for Halloween. That's what I, That's what I've been told. Oh. Thank you for the gift, Sasha. Oh, that's my wife. She <laughs> gave you. She gave you a gift. <laughs> Thank you for the gift, Sasha. You can also gift the person in the box too. Oh yeah. Thank you guys. I do see that that I do have some gifts. Appreciate it. Oh yes. Always thank them for their gifts. They don't have to do it for us. 
Yeah, you're right. You don't. Uh, Jeanette said no oysters, no uh, fish eyes. Where is Jeanette? Jeanette Bush. You know what? On ho on Halloween, uh, you never know what I'm going to do. Um, Jeanette knows that. Yeah, I'm guessing that's why she was asking that, huh? <laughs> well, for Star Wars days, uh, we did uh, Ewok uh, Rocky Mountain Oysters. Oh, okay. Have you ever had Rocky Mountain Oysters? Um, so what's another name for them? Because I think I, I have, but I think they're called something different unless I'm wrong. I don't know. Maybe uh, there's somebody in the um, in the comments that can uh, tell them what it is. Uh, Robin said, "Do you mean uh, mountain oysters?" Uh, they could be called that. Could be. Bab said maybe lamb on Sunday. Huh? Bab, uh, Bab said maybe lamb on Sunday. Uh, actually, they're parts of a baby lamb. <laughs> of course, we still may not be talking about the, the same thing right now. So. Well, Jeanette said, Jeanette said what I think, but uh, I don't know if we can say that. <laughs> Calf <What>? testicles, maybe? <laughs> maybe we can say it that way. Jeanette knows what they are, yes. So we made, yeah. uh, for Star Wars Day, we made um, the uh, uh, Ewok Rocky Mountain Oysters. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, That's what I thought they were, but I didn't want to say that because what if I was wrong? <laughs> oh, that's okay. Uh, we're always wrong on Food Talk TV. <laughs> Ewok Rock, Rocky Mountain Oysters is wrong all by itself, so. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so. Did anybody set a timer for the uh, uh, sweet onion skillet bread? Because coincidentally, I did not. Yeah. I forgot to. Sasha. Thank you for those gifts. Thank you so much. Guys, thank you for helping us toward our goal. That's so awesome. Okay. So the soup is boiling. It needs to boil. Probably, it should probably be covered. I'm going to cover it for a little bit. Janessa said, this guy is new, right? Yup, I'm new. Can you tell? <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, Jeanette, next time we do a live in Dallas, we're going to send you an invite, okay? Uh, Jeanette Bush is in Dallas, by the way, Jesse. Oh, cool. Okay. So maybe we can uh, have a barbecue here at my house. Yeah, see? I love to cook outside, so. And then uh, I tend to overcook, so I, I'll have plenty. So... You guys, if you're just scrolling through, please give us a follow. Uh, just right up there. Uh, we're Food Talk TV. We go live for you every single day. Uh, we have lots of different cooks. Uh, our recipes are posted up at foodtalktv.com. And uh, as a matter of fact, I was, uh, I was in Dallas filming for, uh, for Aryx. She was live on Monday, and it was a really good time. Um, so it seems to it seems that we have a lot of cooking talent in Texas. But Food Talk TV has got cooks from all over the all over the place, all over the world. Okay. UK and Sweden too, right? Pardon me. UK and Sweden. Yes, UK and Sweden. Our UK cook or. It, our UK cook is Bobby Sharva. He comes on uh, on Saturdays 
and his channel is the Yorkshire Indian. Uh, the uh, Swedish cook is Ashton. Uh, she's been out on medical uh, medical leave. She had a double lung transplant. Oh wow! So it's going to be just a little bit before she's back in back in the saddle again. And for those who are interested in how Ashton's doing, uh, she's in our chat every single day. She can't uh, she can't talk. She's got a, a tube right here that's um, helping her new lungs breathe. But all of that is uh, is working out well. It's all working out well. Uh, the last thing she reported to Food Talk TV was just the day before yesterday. Uh, she said that finally for the first uh for the first time in her life, her heart is a normal size. So, uh, so everything is good with her. Everything is good with her. Yeah, th there were some questions about that earlier in the chat. I just didn't have any answers. So I think uh, gluten free answered them, anyways. Okay, we've got a good boil coming on. I'm going to move the camera back over toward the food. I like the camera. It follows you. Yes, uh, we got it off of TikTok shop off of one of our uh, FTTV people. <laughs> I was trying to create a... Uh a TikTok shop, but it said I needed 5,000 followers. Yes, that's true. You'll get them now. Hopefully soon, yeah. That looks good. Five minutes more, um, they're saying. Somebody says five minutes more? Yes. So right now I'm just folding the ones that are on the top closer to the heat on the bottom. And they I'm said gonna check your, a, I'm, gonna take I'm sorry, they said check your bread. Yeah, I, see? So somebody is, <laughs> somebody's uh, on the ball here. They're paying attention. Someone is right on the ball. Oh, wow. That looks amazing. It smells amazing, too. God. Can't wait to the day they make smell vision Well, it's on the... Um have you you haven't updated your TikTok? The latest <laughs> update just got uh, just got it. It's in the app. Yeah, smell vision. Oh uh, well, no, it's uh, it's only on Android actually. Hey, I got Android. You got Android, so you get yes, you sir. got it. Uh, the pe people who have iPhones, of course, always have to wait another year. But, <laughs> but that's okay. That's okay. I like you, Cass. You know. Uh, uh, it's lucky though, because two years ago Samsung uh, started making Apple's cameras, so they got they started to finally get some good quality. <laughs> so you know, you know, you're in a sensitive subject to a lot of people. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> we'll have four four viewers in about two minutes here. <laughs> <laughs> I talk about that uh, in my class. In my, in my class, I work, and oh, all the students just hate me for it when I tell them the truth. Okay, so you can tell some of it is breaking down. Tap that screen, guys. We are at three point eight k likes. 3.9 now. Also, if you don't follow us, uh, hit, hit that follow button. 
Also hit the notification bell so you can get notified every time Food Talk TV comes on. Um, we have plenty of creators that go on live every day. Right now you're watching Cass. He is working on a butternut squash soup. He also made a uh, sweet onion skillet bread, which looked amazing. He just took it out. It smells, that uh, skillet bread smells so good. And it's so easy to make. Pizza dough. The popping fresh. If you uh, if you're cooking outside, you just put put the skillet uh, right over the grill, close it up. Twenty minutes later, it's done. What tip would you do that on the grill? If you, uh, a Weber grill, you could uh, get away with three fifty. Okay, I can do three fifty. I might try it then. Super easy. Okay. This is breaking down and breaking down and breaking down. What I'm doing is every once in a while I see a seed and I'm grabbing the seed. Pulling the seeds out, okay. Okay, now I'm gonna Bring out the immersion blender. Thank you for the gift, October Fly, Dragonfly. Appreciate it. She also uh, sent you hearts, Cass. Hi, Christine. Christine is October Dragonfly. She cooks, she alternates on Sunday nights. I'm taking this Sunday night. She'll be on the next Sunday night. Oh, okay. And what is her specialty? She is a busy mom. So her food is busy mom food. Okay. And she also is a Bengals fan and a defender of anything Cincinnati. <laughs> That's good to know. Uh, what soup are we making? We're making um, butternut, butternut, butternut squash. Yes. See how the texture is changing, Jesse? Yes, right away. It's starting to look like pudding. Thank you for the uh, gifts, October. Keep putting for uh, your goal pass. Fifty percent of the goal has been met. Thank you so much. So the consistency of the soup, is it supposed to be like like baby food or liquid? It's going to be more liquid. But, uh, okay. but once, you, uh, once you break up the squash, it does get thick. Okay. That's where the rest of the um, uh, vegetable broth comes in. It, uh, it's supposed to be more like a cream soup. Uh-huh. This is the consistency right here. Oh, okay. Okay. I've never had it. Okay, that's 
nice uh, and clean. Only says that less liquid makes it uh, pure easier. Yes. Then October Fly says she loves squash soup. And so does Jeanette. Okay, so this is butternut squash soup. Let's go ahead and uh, move the camera out just a little bit so you guys can see the whole the whole of what I'm doing here. And if this is too thick for you, you just add a little bit more of the vegetable broth. But this is what I'm looking for right now. Okay. Let's go ahead and get the, the bread. Because of course you need bread with, with a hearty soup. Uh, Nazira is saying a uh, wonderful looking soup. Thank you. And uh, Robin says she's never heard of it. Well, Robin, I'm glad to introduce you to something. Stick what are you talking talking about uh, the soup? Because didn't Robin earlier say that she loves it? I don't know. What's in it so far? I think he's done with the soup. The soup, uh, the soup has got uh, squash, butternut squash, uh, vegetable broth, uh, uh, equivalent of three garlic cloves, about a tablespoon of sage, half a ta tablespoon of rosemary, um, teaspoon of ginger, uh, uh, and onions. Very simple yes. soup. That sounds simple. Yeah, Linda said that she's definitely going to make it. She's going to use your recipe. Squash anything is good is what Jeanette's saying. Okay. Octoberfly said, what are we making uh, to go with it? Uh, he made the uh, sweet onion skillet bread to go with it. That's right. Let's get a bowl here. Only um, all he did was uh, cook it. So he was only asking if... Uh, did you roast it or did you boil it? I didn't do either one. I put it in the microwave. He put it in the microwave slash oven because he is uh, pressed on time. Yes. But you normally boil it, am I correct? Uh, no, I normally put it in the microwave. But uh, <laughs> but you, what you would do according to the recipe is, yeah, you would just go ahead and uh, cut it up and put it in the pot and let it go for about 30 minutes covered. But I cook for myself, so I do, I do things the, uh, the quick way. <laughs> uh, October was saying, what kind of bread was that? Uh, it, it's the uh, sweet onion skillet bread. And that's made with Garlic, onions, butter, um, that's the topping. Uh, this is a poppin' fresh pizza crust put into the put into a skillet. And then you just put that uh, the garlic and onions on top of it and let it go for about 20 minutes. So uh, Naz I hope I'm saying this wrong right, Nazir. Uh, did you put any salt or not at all? Uh, salt? Yes, salt and pepper. Okay. And then only said he prefers roasting his or hers. Awesome. And Sasha got the number one gifter badge. Thank, Thank you, you for the gift, Sasha. Okay, here we go. Let me, let's take a good look at what I have done. Go. 
Love Pumpkin Soup 2. You know what? Pumpkin soup is going to taste exactly the same as this. Because a um, pumpkin is a squash. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my wife was saying earlier. You got close to our goal, I can tell. Yes, October Dragonfly is non stop sending gifts. Okay, so all I did was finish this with a little bit of heavy cream. Uh, a lot of recipes will say go ahead and uh, put heavy cream in into the mix. You don't need it because uh, as soon as you uh, blend the uh, squash, it becomes creamy all by itself. Okay. So, and this is the sweet onion garlic bread. It's called sweet onion because I use sweet onions. Uh, these aren't Vidalias. These are Noondays. Uh, they're a little less sweet than Vidalias, but basically it's the same thing. They're grown in soil that doesn't have as much sulfur in it. So uh, since they don't absorb sulfur, uh, they come out sweet. All right, so now we're going to get to the best part. I'm going to taste it. Thank you for the heart gift, uh, October. She sent you, uh, I think it was the hen heart. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. And she also got you to 80% of the uh, live goal. Thank you, everybody. Okay, so let's see how it tastes. This is so good. I'm going to be eating this all week long. It's... Um, it's naturally sweet. We didn't, we didn't put anything sweet in there. Okay. It's just naturally sweet. And you can tell that it's soup weather because I'm wearing flannel. Right. Huh. <laughs> How about the bread? You want to take a bite of that? I'm going to take a bite of the bread too. But this is really good. Boy, this this pizza dough just it came out really really good. Wow, it looks amazing. Mm -hmm. Garlic and onion. That's all you taste. Garlic, onion, and pizza dough. I don't think you need much more. This this work this works. It completely works. Just remember. This is a, uh, the amount of onion on here is a whole onion. So don't skimp on the onion. Do not skip on the onion. Just pour it all the way over. I poured it all the way over the crust, even uh, some down the sides so that if you look, the sides even got uh, nice and brown too. So. October said it freezes well too. Mm-hmm. Mm. Soup, hearty soup, crusty bread, you can't go wrong. All right, guys. Yummy on the chat. So thank, thank you, everyone. Thank you for coming today. We really appreciate you. Uh, tomorrow, we'll be doing um, uh, food trivia. For fifty dollars, fifty dollars to the winner. As a matter of fact, I think the only reason not October Dragonfly is in here is she was looking for another fifty dollars because <laughs> she won last time. Uh, so uh, you have to go uh, to the video that's up on Food Talk TV and go into the comments, register, tell us if you want to be in there. If you're not, if you're not going to be, um, or if you're registered. You must be in the first round. If you're not there, uh, you won't be eligible to win the money. So uh, tomorrow, tomorrow night at seven o'clock, I believe. Is it was it seven o'clock last time, Jesse? Do you remember? Yes, yes, it was. Yeah, seven o'clock central. And seven also, October is is saying that Taylor's TikTok Live takes over to uh, is on tomorrow. That's right. Um, yes, uh, tomorrow. Uh, uh, visit 
the mustard queen is at happy mustardery happy mustarding um uh her account is going to take over tiktok live uh uh she's been chosen by uh by tiktok as uh she's the third person third cook from food talk tv that they've chosen they're probably going to run through all of us pretty soon country has been chosen to take over TikTok uh, Live. Uh, Ashton has taken over TikTok Live, and now Taylor tomorrow is taking over TikTok Live. They're put. They're going to push her out to thousands of people. Uh, we are so lucky at Food Talk TV that uh, TikTok likes us and uh, and they push us. They push all of our all of our cooks. So, thank you for mentioning that for for me because I had completely forgotten. Um, so be sure to look out for that. That's going to be at, uh, 4.30 Pacific, 4.30 Pacific, which is going to be 6.30, 6.30 Pacific. So, um, uh, definitely watch out for that. Okay. So my time is up guys. Thank you, Jesse, for coming in and thank you uh, for having me and hosting. Thank you, Jeanette, for hanging out. Thank you, everybody. I can't really see who's in the comments. I only know uh, the names that, um, uh, that Jesse has called out to me. Uh, Christine, October Dragonfly. Robin. Oh, Robin. Thank you. Thank you for uh, being here. Wasn't there a Sweet Pea or something like that? Yes, yeah, Sweet Pea was in here. Sweet Pea. Um, Nazir. Nazir said uh, thank you. They enjoyed it. Uh, Robin said that she enjoyed the, the watching everyone. Have a blessed night. All right, guys. All right. Uh, uh, just one last thing to say. The world is full of good people, guys. But if you can't find one, be one. You guys have a great night. We love you. Thank you. Have a good one, guys. Talk to you later, Cass. All right.